Hey guys, I knew that picture caught your eye, didn't it? I see you, my Ray Sims. I see you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Water engulfed your point of view, but it was clear as glass. Your body moved smooth smoothly throughout the lake without any trouble, while your fins and tail did the work. Your hair flowed in different directions as you flowed up inside the perfect temperature water. Being the only one around this area, where a small town rested nearby deep in the forest that was surrounded by the sea opening. You wanted to interact with humans and make friends since this loneliness wasn't the move, but barely being able to stand on land doesn't separate doesn't spare much time for having to drop having to drop back in the water. You shake your head to every thought that came in your mind. Not appearing, not appearing. You let out a sigh with bubbles flowing along before popping within seconds. You began to head up to shore, raising your head against the water as your hair went downwards with strands of it floating still. Your eyes scanned the empty land. No humans were to be seen. Rustles rest, rest, came from inside the greenery. Footsteps could be heard as they fell silent once their foot made the, met the sand. Their charcoal hair friend matched with dark eyes and pale skin stood out. It was a boy who carried a set of fishing gear and made his way to the water. You felt your chest burst with excitement because of Came, but became quickly cautious before making your move to greet the boy. He arrived at his spot, taking a seat on the comfortable sand, and started to take out his materials before tossing the string from the fishing rod into the sea. The blazing sun shined high above as the fluffy clouds passed on and the hours went by peacefully. You still didn't take your chance to meet the human, nervously watching from afar until dashing back underneath the water to sort out your mind. Should you go up there and meet him or wait for another time? You grow on defeat and whine to yourself. Your mind was telling you to wait for another time, so you obeyed, since it was probably the right choice. Hoping he'll come back tomorrow or the next following day, scenarios planted inside your head as you went out to find something to eat. How can a human be so cute? Who knows, you thought to yourself. The next day, you prepared yourself to meet the human. You swam around the area, eating the sea veggies she collected for, you collected for her afternoon meal. You peeked above the water every now and then, not wanting to miss the boy. You jumped in surprise to see the same face from yesterday emerge from the forest, but there was others trailing behind him, one with orange hair and the other one had white hair. You swam across, closer to the shore, but not so close for them, for catching you. The orange haired female chattered away, and the others sat down and listened while setting up their items. Not catching what they spoke, you watched in silence. Regretting your chance, your only chance to talk to him alone, but there are at least more friends to be human, more humans to be friends with. You dunk your head back into the water and went closer, hoping they wouldn't spot you. And you began to overthink if they catch you until the sun burned against your skin. Your eyes widen on the open. You wide, your eyes widened down at the open floor, then over to this land, seeing strings covering your view as three strangers stood below. Have you been caught? Resting inside the net as your face was flustered. To the sight of the dark haired male, curiosity plastered on his face, and no words were spoken due to surprise. Hello? You said, breaking the silence. She can talk? The other girl shouted and looked back and forth between the boys who held up the fishnet. Emma, don't yell. You might scare her. The dark 
your boy said, snapping with annoyance, slicing his words until another male joined in. You guys, he stated, to scold the tooth who finally interacted with you. You didn't know what else to say. What was interesting to talk about? Should you introduce yourself? Your whole, your whole body was starting to tremble as you held your hands close to your chest. Your visible features stood out to most of their eyes. Can you let me down? You kind of requested, and they gave a thought before setting the, setting the net back down to the water, resting it in the sea. Not wanting to leave, you swam much closer to the shore, where your body rested against the sand in the shallow area. The three ran over, but they were cautious before anything else. Seeing a human up close is truly amazing. I'm listener. He shot a sm bright smile towards their direction. Then it entered the water but stood on land, examining each fin that stood out and your tail floating above the water. What are you? Emma asked and curious. A Zimbophobia, you answered, saying them into thoughts. Never heard of that. You must be some kind of rare creature. Interesting. His sky blue eyes softened as he smiled. Is there more of you around here, or is just... The dark-haired boy scanned around the water and looked in a distance before looking back at you. It's just me. You, you twirled a strand of your hair around your finger, looking down with a small frown. We should go tell everybody. Two heads hushed the... Two heads hushed the albon, albino and shook their heads. No way. This should be our secret. The girl beamed with joy. You don't know that. What if we do, if they get a hold of her? He crossed his arms and let out a sigh. He listened to their conversation, curious what they meant, but didn't feel the trouble, like troubling them with questions. Will you be my friend? You removed your hair and clapped your hands together with a, form, with a smile forming back on your lips. The prize looks arrive back on their faces. Of course, since you're all alone, I'll be glad to be your friend. The girl shows a lot of happiness to the question that you just asked. Sure, I don't see why not, the white-haired boy said, smiling. And he looked over to the other boy, who was about to give his answer. Sure. He averted his eyes to look somewhere else. Laughs came from... The two, as the girl patted the boy on the shoulder. This is Ray. I'm Emma. His voice interrupted the girl, introducing herself. I'm Norman. Nice to meet you. They gave off good vibes and didn't sense any negativity from the three. He was pleased with. He was pleased to meet these kind humans. Days went by, and the three stopped by every day when they had a chance. But Ray usually came by daily. Ray usually came daily by himself, having the feeling he snuck off to avoid any disturbance between you and him. You laid in the water by the shore and smiled the whole time Ray told you stories and moaned about his life. Oh, I forgot. I brought you some fruits. He dug into the bag he brought, pulling out some of your favorite fruits. Your eyes sparkled at the fruit and he handed it to you. You gladly took a bite. And this delicious taste caused you to have a bright smile plastered on your face. Ray rested his, his hand in the palm of his and, started, and stared at the female who enjoyed eating the fruit he bought, watching the smile on her lips form and her eyes shining with joy. He smiled at her reaction and felt glad to meet someone like her. Doesn't matter if she was different from him. Thank you so much, you chirped snapping the boy from out of his gaze. No problem, Ray chuckled, and looked somewhere looked somewhere else to avoid being caught staring. You felt your you felt your cheeks blossom into a bright pink, eating away the fruit until it was gone. Silence said to swarm. Ray, you're the nicest person I ever met. I'm so happy you have time to hang out with me. He was flustered by your own words and laughed it off. You watched the boy's first you watched the boy's face burst into red 
as he shuts his eyes. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You enjoy, I enjoy spending time with you. He paused. And that way he just said, now feeling even more embarrassed, he just crossed his arms and didn't rest facing you. Feeling your heart beating faster with a smile on your face that couldn't go away, it laughed at his actions that were rarely shown. You're so cute, you smiled and walked closer to him for a short time. I had sitting in front of Ray, who was surprised by the close distance of you and him. His eye, he eyed at the details on your body, amazed. He brought his hand up and gently touched your ears that caused you to giggle. He smiled, a blush still resting on his cheeks. You're so unique. You brought your hands up and cupped the side of his face slightly, rubbing your thumb on his smooth skin. I wanted to give you my thanks for everything. You tilt your head as you move your face closer to his, planting a soft cheek, planting a soft kiss on his cheek, and pulling away to see his reaction. Ray brought his hand back to himself, holding onto the spot where he just kissed him, and he obviously became a nervous wreck. I I'll see you tomorrow. Falling back into the water as you squeezed your as you squealed, your face full of embarrassment. Ray sat in the sand, listening to the small waves that brushed up against the shore. He let out a small laugh. Should he give me a chance? He rubbed his cheek and stared off into the distance where the sea deepened and there was peaceful and there was peaceful silence in the air. Hey guys, thank you for listening. I wanted to give it up to this amazing writer. I love their story. Um, so if there was any um, tripping and like, or I was like stuttering because I did a lot of talking because my family members are here. Oh God, help me. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.